Hey, I'm Anne Marie, and today we're making Molly Boss's Burnt Basque Cheesecake. If you're on the Bon Appetit Facebook group test kitchen thing, you know, you know, you have definitely seen this recipe before. I was a little skeptical, but let me tell you, it was so easy to make and it tasted so good. Plus, it just looks so impressive, even though it's burnt, and can confirm it was delicious. Since everyone's been asking for the cookie dough recipe that we use, I'll show you how to make it from scratch. First, cream together a cup of butter, three quarter cups of brown sugar, and a half cup of sugar. Then two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, followed by two cups of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon salt. Lastly, fold in some milk chocolate chips. Combine with whatever you'd like, or just have it by itself. If you'd like the full written recipe, I have linked it in my bio for you. If you think you hate carrot cake now, just you wait until you try this one. It's accidentally vegan thanks to the olive oil and it's gonna add a super moist crumb with some nutty vibes, which we obviously love. The dry ingredients are pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna spice the hell out of it with ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. It's gonna add a nice kick. And then for the wet ingredients, olive oil, which will help add a super moist crumb and apple cider vinegar, which will react with the rising agents. Last step is non-negotiable. Always add carrot raisins and walnuts. And then once it's baked, you can go ahead and frost it with an almond cream cheese frosting and dive in. So I was actually waiting to get my COVID test results and because they're really quick, I was challenged to make these pizza stuffed sticks in under 30 minutes. Now I'm making something called a 10 minute dough and you basically just mix all these ingredients in a bowl and then you let them rise for 10 minutes and then you add the flour until you get a dough. I'm doing this to show you guys how quick it is to get your COVID test done and they're actually free with easy access for students. You might not know this, but one in three people with coronavirus don't actually present their symptoms, so it's always safe to know for sure. Anyways, back to the pizza dough, I just cut them up into these long wide rectangles, I filled them with some pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese and then wrapped them up like this. Then I just brushed them with that garlic butter that I made and baked them until they were nice and golden. It was a bit of a challenge to get this done in under half an hour while the results came out, but that's it. Hey guys, here's a delicious soft milk bun recipe. First thing you're gonna do is add warm milk, yeast, honey, two full cups of all-purpose flour, mix that up for about four minutes. And then you're gonna add one tablespoon of condensed milk and mix the dough for about 10 minutes and then put it in a grease bowl and let it rest for an hour. After that, you're gonna cut it up into about one inch size ball and then place it back into a baking pan and let it rest for an hour until it doubles. After that you're going to sprinkle AP all-purpose flour on top of the dough, bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
has been making this recipe for Sicilian Easter bread for at least 65 years. It's known throughout Italy as pane di Pasqua, but has other names depending on the region. The dough is enriched with sugar, butter, and eggs, and delicately flavored with cinnamon and vanilla. Dyed eggs are tucked into the braided dough, then topped with whimsical rainbow sprinkles. Serve with a swipe of softened butter and use any leftovers to make some amazing French toast. Find my recipe for Sicilian Easter bread at thefeedfeed.com and hashtag feedfeed. I'll look around until I the flower that you gave me to wear hey i'm Anne marie and my newest hobby is baking my feelings remember like this time last year when we went into our first lockdown that's pretty much when this hobby started it's just a really great distraction from everything that's happening in the world so if you're tired of seeing instagram stories of people at bars or if you just can't watch one more second of 25,000 people at the Super Bowl, I highly suggest taking some time and making a cake that only you will eat. And since we're baking our feelings, I decided to write them on this cake. I just really wish we could hug. Five eggs, one cup sugar, a pinch of salt and one tablespoon vanilla, one tablespoon vinegar and two tablespoons oil. Fold one cup flour, one tablespoon starch, and one tablespoon baking powder. Bake at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. And this is how you bake a sponge cake from scratch.